I'm Ben Powers from Monroe Instruments and I'm going to show you how to set the contact patch for a pendulum skip test. This process starts from a fully set up, levelled and zeroed machine. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, please have a look at one of our other videos. So first you're going to let the foot hang plumb. You're then going to put your left hand on the left height adjuster and your right hand reach around the back and unclamp. With your left hand on the height adjuster, you're then free to use your right hand to manipulate the foot. Here I'm just showing the same process from the back. Uh, I've got my right hand on the top clamp and my left hand on the height adjuster. Then when I'm finished, I can just clamp it up again with my right hand and then I can remove both of my hands and it's not going to move. I'm going to push the foot all the way over to the left and lower it down on the left hand side of the test sample doesn't matter how low it goes as long as it's touching the surface. I'm then going to roll it back up slowly so that the back of the foot is in line with the left third of the pendulum stem. I then clamp it in position. This is the same process again. You can see me lower the foot onto the left hand side of the sample and then I'm going to roll the foot back up ever so gently so that the back of the foot is in line with the left third of the stem. I'm then going to take my setting gauge and line up the left hand line with the right side of the aluminium backing plate. I use the slider lift handle to move the foot over to the right hand side and make sure the lift handle is fully depressed before letting it come back to rest on the surface. I'm then going to raise the pendulum frame so that I halve the distance between where I am now and the mark on the setting gauge. I just want to go halfway to that mark. I then move the setting gauge and this time I'm lining up the right hand line with the back of the aluminium slider plate. I then repeat the process of lifting the slider lift handle, move the foot over to the other side and check where I am. You can see here that I'm much closer to where I want to be but again, it's the same process. I'm just going to halve the distance between where I am now and that black line where I want to be. Having made the adjustment, I just repeat the process of moving the setting gauge. Again, the left hand line to the back of the aluminium slider plate. Again, I move the foot over to the other side to check whether any further adjustment is necessary. In this case there isn't, but if there is, you just keep repeating that process of halving the distance between where you are and where you want to be. That was how to set the contact patch. Now you're ready to conduct your test swings. Thanks for watching.